the lab 13 titration. So first you're gonna set up your apparatus with your ring stand, your burette clamp, your burette that you grab from, grab from the lab, and a beaker, <laughs> we have a waste beaker, and eventually we'll have sodium hydroxide and acetic acid, or vinegar. Okay, so first you're going to get 60 mLs of 0.2, molar sodium hydroxide. This is the actual concentration, so record that. So transfer this to a 250 ml beaker. Right. Time to set up our burette. And normally when you walk into a lab and grab a burette, it's half filled with DIY water. So we're going to oh, drain this out is into that the your waste. waste? Does it say yes. Waste? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna cook out the water for yeah. <laughs> So you let this fully drain out into the waste. It might take a little while. So now we're going to take this, if you're vertically challenged <laughs> like we are, you're going to take it off of the burette clamp. And you're going to take the DR water, there's DR water in there. Wait, okay, it's closed. Make sure the tip is closed. You're going to rinse some more DI water through the burette. And then you're going to let that drain out again into the waste. So once all of that second DI water has run out, we're going to take a dropper. <laughs> After, <laughs> since we're vertically challenged, we take the burette out of the burette clamp and make sure the tip is closed. So we're going to rinse three times sodium hydroxide into the burette. And we're going to swirl it around, make sure to get all of it. And then let it drain into the waste. And you're going to do this three times. <laughs> Stuck. You're going to flick it. <laughs> <laughs> Tap it a few times until it starts coming out. But don't break it. We're ready to fill the burette with the sodium hydroxide. So we have the 60 mLs that we filled out earlier. And we're going to fill it. This is vertically challenged. We take it off the burette. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to try to get it as close to the zero mL mark as possible. But we're going to put it little above because we're going to let some out at the, into the waste. Oh, it's fine. It's okay. We'll get it to four. So we're going to stick it back on the right clamp. Have our waste underneath. And we're going to... Sorry. <laughs> we're going to let enough out and I'm going to get it to... Or Andre is going you to get it to... Piece of paper, piece of black? Um... It has black. black, so I mean, it looks fine if I put my hand back there. Okay. So we're gonna try and get it to this four mark, so. <laughs> we're gonna put it to the five mark. <laughs> okay. So Andre's going to let some out on the bottom, and we're gonna let it down to the five mark. Almost there, there. Where the meniscus is hitting the five. So now we're at five. MLs is our starting point. 5.0 or 5.10. Um, you need to read significantly. Andre, can you see that? I can't. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Where he's going to bring it down, then he's going to look and see what the actual. We need three significant figures. So. 
Five point zero one. Okay. So. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're gonna say our initial starting volume is five point zero one milliliters. We we'll take our diluted vinegar and pipe it ten ml into a hundred milliliter volumetric flask. Right there. Yeah. And then take this and put it in the 100 ml volumetric box. It's common practice to let it drain out on the side of the flask. Make sure all the drops get in. Then we're going to add enough DI water to make it a 100 milliliter solution. So we're gonna do this gradually. We wanna get it up to there, but we're going to do a little DI water at a time. So every time we put a little bit in, we're going to invert it, and make sure it's a homogeneous solution. So invert it, let it mix, do that a few times, and then we're gonna add more DI water. Invert it, mix it, make sure it's homogeneous. And we're going to continue doing this until it's at 100 milliliters. Okay, so we're going to add about 20 mLs at a time when we do the little bit at a time in invert. So we fill this 50 ml beaker to 20. <laughs> 20 ml. <laughs> And then we in, mix it up and invert it to make it the homogeneous solution. Make sure it mixes. And we continue doing this until we're at the 100 milliliters of total solution. Oh, we transferred the diluted vinegar from the volumetric flask into a baker. Now we're going to pipe that 10 mLs of it into a Erlenmeyer flask. Oh, he's going to get it down to this line. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Almost there. Almost. Perfect. So now we transfer that into the Erlen Mod Flask. You say clear. You want to quickly go take a picture of the uh, peacock seat and, and also the, the, the water. Uh, oh, transfer that into this. Here's our peacock friend. We need to add two drops of phenolphthalein to our diluted acetic acid or vinegar. So. One, two. There we go. Now we're ready to start the titration. So we set up our diluted acetic acid or vinegar below our burette filled with 0.2 or early recorded molar sodium hydroxide. So I'm just going to start the titration. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> so the goal is to get one drop and swirl. So one drop, he's going to swirl it. Oh, 
We do this to ensure that we don't go past the end point. and swirl. And we'll continue this process until we start seeing the light pink. And here is the peacock that you've been hearing in the videos. <laughs> and it has turkeys over here. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I think we have reached the end point. We check it against white paper. It should be a very, very light pink. Look how good Andre did. So now we're going to record our final volume after this. And this is for you to read. Hint, look at the bottom of the meniscus. And there you go.